So I will talk about reconfigurable replicated state machine. The work is done by uh, Niklas and myself, these slides, this presentation, and uh, let us start. <clears throat> so what is the motivation? Replicated state machine. So the motivation, what are the motivation? So a replicated state machine is um, running as on a set of processes, so it's typically three or five. And the idea of a replicated state machine is that they can tolerate failures up to less than half of uh, processes failing, but one more state machine failing, then the system becomes unavailable. So we need a way to replace faulty machines. However, it is impossible to know if a process is faulty or a slow in asynchronous distributed systems. Okay. Therefore, then we must be able to replace any process, regardless if the process is faulty or not. And this is called reconfiguration. Reconfiguration happens in many systems where you use a set of processes together to represent a state machine. This is full tolerant state machine. Then the processes could be in different um, servers, different racks, or even over different um, data centers. For example, it is typical for Google to have um, uh, units of state machines, replicated state machines of five nodes. Two nodes are in some data centers and three nodes in your uh, main data center. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us do that. So in a replicated state machine, we have to distinguish between uh, policies and mechanisms. Okay. A policy tells you when you are going to um, replace a faulty or reconfigure a system, a replicated state machine, and the mechanism is really how you are going to reconfigure a state machine. So one possible view about when is to let an external agent decides when to configure. The external agent could be an autonomous management system, which has certain policies. For example, if you have a replicated state machine of five nodes, so it will tell you whenever one node is suspected, then we start the uh, replacement of that node or the reconfiguration of the system. Or it could be a human operator that monitors the system. The agent also chooses the new configuration. So, so here is a situation. Here is a situation where we have a, a replicated state machine that consists of processors, processes P1, P2, and P3. And we want to reconfigure this to a new system, which is P1, P2, and P4. So this is a situation where we want to um, replace P3 by P4. P3 might, maybe we want to, is to update its software or it might be suspected to be faulty. So um, in when we are talking about now replicated state machine, so it will be the case that in general, in general, it will be possible to replace configuration of machines with a completely new set of processes okay or new set of machines so it is not necessarily that there is this these two set of machines are uh, disjoint okay. but in many cases of course that's the 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 standard or way is that some machine is suspected and you want to replace it some machine uh, is uh, you want to update its software and it is replaced and so on so in this lecture, we are only concerned with the mechanism, and we will leave the policy as open and as flexible as possible. So let us talk about configurations now. So what is a configuration? Okay. So each configuration is actually just an instance of 
multi-packs or sequence packs. So it is a set of processes together implementing uh, a replicated state machine. So, so here is an, a typical configuration. The configuration is consisting of three, three replicas, R11 to R13. Uh, this is another configuration consisting of four replicas. And this is a third configuration. And replicas are, in a sense, roles. So it might be possible that this R11 and R21 and R31 are actually the same process, the same process that are running these three um, replicas. So, so replicas in configuration C1, as I said, it's uh, R11, R12, and R13. And a process may act um, as multiple replicas. So, yeah, in different configurations. So, process P1 could be the same process running all these three replicas R11, R21, and R31. Okay, so a replicated state machine in a configuration executes until a configuration command occurs. And then when that happens, it moves to a new configuration. So within a configuration, say C0, uh, the machine starts, this is the first configuration, sorry, C0, it starts with an empty sequence of commands accepted in round 0. It runs normally, and then if the sequence V is issued in round N, then V is an extension of all sequences chosen in rounds before n. We have seen that in, in sequence packs. So we are in a configuration. We just, whenever new commands are issued, so that the, the command sequence that is chosen is extended, and that's it. All right. So let us remember this by the ballot array of C0. Here is a typical ballot array of C0. You have three replicas, Q1, Q2, and Q3 in configuration C0. These replicas are working. They start with a chosen sequence, which is the empty sequence. Here is a possible uh, sequence C1 that is not chosen, because at round 2, you accept another sequence C2. Um, yeah, the sequence C2. There's a majority of acceptors accepting a sequence C2. The empty sequence accepted at round 0. And if a sequence is issued around N, then V is uh, an extension of all sequence chosen in rounds less than n chosen. So in this case, you can see that C2, or the sequence C2, is an extension of the previous chosen sequence, and that is sequence with uh, the empty sequence. So let us talk about one specific command, which is called the stop sign in C0. So at some point, a special command will be issued. It's called the stop sign command be proposed and a proposer extend its current sequence with this command so that is what is going to happen the sequence with the stop sign as the last command will be the final sequence in this original configuration c0 so this is the point this is the end of of sequences accepted in this configuration so no sequence longer than the final sequence in C0 may be issued by any proposal. It means we, for any proposal, that is the final sequence. If you have another command and issue, it will be ignored. It will not extend that sequence of commands. Okay. Therefore, after the final sequence is chosen, no longer sequence can be chosen in C0, and C0 is stopped. Thank you.